having Mike actually make some armature and I'm just gonna sculpt the bottom of the horns and then we're just gonna hold it up and make sure it matches as close as possible. Bend it right. There, yeah. Stop. Come further down, further. Stop. Now it needs to curve at a compound angle. What am I doing? Further, much further. Yeah, bend it sharply. More, it's a hair more. Stop, and then really, a lot. All right, whoa, whoa, whoa. You said a lot. Turn it this way. It's, um, it's gotta go the other way, this way. A little more. That'll do her. Your baby ass. Now that we've got the armature tips made, I've asked Mike to attach them to a separate sculpting board so I can get started. Here you go. All right, right there. All that's left for Jordu is to sculpt the demon's curly Q horn ends now that he's got the armatures Mike made for him. Ooh, Mike's not gonna like this. I think they're a little long. What can I say? Nobody's perfect. Mike! Michael! Now what? I am willing to take complete and total blame for this particular miscalculation. These are too long. They're too long. What I need to do is have this straighten back out and then bend this bend to happen here. I'm really sorry. Try that. Yeah, that's, that's real good. Mike really saved me on this one. Thanks, Mike. And now that Jordu is wrapping things up, I can finally get a good look and see how it'll turn out. Wow. You know, this thing is all about the horns. Because before the horns. Oh, yeah. Those horns are fully half the width of that thing, and maybe more. And these are the, the tips of the horns, or the fronts of them. And these should probably get molded pretty quick because they're drying out. The water yeah. clay's drying out. Yeah. Well, the they tips. look great, though. That's complicated. The sculpture's done, and it really does look great. Thanks, well man. done. You're the man. Jordu is ready to head home to Los Angeles, and now it's my turn to work on the demon and get it ready for Mondo to mold. Time to damn the demon. With the size and shape of this demon head, we're going to make a two-piece mold from it. To get it ready for plaster, I need to dam it, which is basically creating a divider between the front and back halves of the head using thin metal shims. This looks good. It's off to Mondo. Here we go. Okay, watch one side. Well, then you have to take this giant thing down the long ramp to the basement. Off to Mondo land. Hey, Marcia. Good to see you guys. How's it going? Good. We're at the darkness in St. Louis, Missouri to install the demon. The people who will be coming through the haunted house oh, is yes. the entire haunted house industry. I'm Larry Kirshner, president of Halloween Productions, one of the owners of the Darkness Haunted House here in St. Louis, Missouri. We're talking about every one of your customers you've ever had, okay? <laughs> every haunt from here to Singapore Whoa. will be here, and they were, well, you know, they're gonna check this monster out, so you have a lot of pressure to make sure this thing looks awesome. So we've only got a few hours before the haunted house is open for business, and our first task is to attach the head to the demon body. That also means running all of the control cables down through the demon and out the other end. Okay, Ed, if you'll get down there on your knees and get your hand up his butt. Oh, no, I'm not a proctologist. Ed's gonna have to stick his hand up his butt, see if he can get a hold of him. I don't feel it, Mike. Can you make it come a little further? I'm shoving it down there. I don't know how you get stuck with these jobs. Look at that. Pull them. I could be a doctor. Look at that. And there's nothing quite like pulling black intestines out of a giant demon to his rear. I've got intestinal fortitude. So we hooked it all up, and everything's going pretty smoothly. But we discovered that we had more 
things we had to do than channels to do it on the controllers. We only have seven channels to make this demon come to life. Each movement requires a channel. The fog machine needs a channel, and the eyes lighting up need a channel. That's way more channels than we have. Seven valves and fog machine, you're plump full. Our brilliant solution was to add lights to one of the movements so that the lights would come on when his head turned. What about it? Every time his mouth opens, yellow comes on. And every time I hit the fogger, red comes on. You give me a look like, are you kidding me? Give me a look like, you're a genius. I don't get that look. All right, I think we're ready to move him into position. Okay, we are coming forward, is that correct? Yep, coming forward. Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. It turns out that our giant demon is a bit too giant for its new home. Larry's going to have to knock down part of the set to make way for our creation before the haunted house opens in just a few hours. Yeah, we'll knock it out. OK. And we have some like temporary hard coat, so whatever we cut, we can just re-hard coat it real quick. OK, good. You guys cut the foam. I'll program it. We'll be ready to go. All right. Sounds All righty. Great. When the monster went in, we literally said, wow, we're going to have to build a scene tonight. Luckily, we just happen to have like 12 boxes of skeletons. So we're, we're going to like paint them and make them look disgusting and make it look like that guy's like eating the customers. With the demon ready to go and Larry and Jim finishing up decorating the scene, we're going outside to check out who the demon's first victims will be. We were thrilled to see a long line already formed. Wow. Look at all these guys. Looks like a line to a party in hell. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you guys ready for this? There's this gigantic line of people. I mean, keep in mind, this is nowhere near Halloween. All, all the way from here. Canada. All the way from Canada. Here we are. Wow. Are you ready for this? With distortions, I'm ready. Now, you know, we made a big monster in there. A I big monster. I'm anxious to see what they think of it. The doors are open, and it's time to see how our demon does. Have fun! When we got there to see the final reveal, it looked great. It's a powerful piece. The clients are happy, and Marsh is happy, and so I'm happy, everybody's happy. The world is a wonderful place, and there's butterflies and hearts everywhere. And one giant demon.